In this video, we will go over, how to install your extension pinball side buttons upgrade kit. Let's begin. First, you will need a power drill, with a 3 16 inch drill bit, and a Phillips head bit. Included in the kit, is one left, and one right, pinball side button box. One USB powered control box. One USB to USB mini cable. And eight Phillips head screws, for attaching the side button boxes, to your cabinet. The additional Phillips head screws are optional, if you decide to secure your USB control box to your cabinet. However, it is not necessary to do so. Let's start by determining where you want to position your first pinball side button box. Hold your pinball side button box to the side of the cabinet, and locate the best, and most comfortable position, for your side button box. Once you determine the best location, using a pencil or a marker, mark where you will need to drill your pass-through hole. Then, you will need to remove your extension controller from your cabinet. Failure to remove your controller, will cause damage to your controller. So please be sure to do so, before proceeding to the next step. Simply remove the 460mm bolts, with the Allen wrench that came with your cabinet assembly. Then, proceed to remove your controller from the cabinet, by lifting the controller off the pegged cabinet platform. Then be sure to remove all USB cables from the controller to your PC. Now, using your power drill with the 3 16 inch drill bit attached, proceed to drill your hole, in the space that you previously marked. Then, proceed to perform these exact same steps, on the opposite side of the cabinet. Now, position your USB control box in the center of the fixed platform on your 32 inch upright cabinet, or in any other place you feel will work best for you and your third party components. If you have a different extension cabinet model, then simply position your USB control box in a central area inside the cabinet, that will allow for easy access of the control box wires, to the holes you just drilled. Now, feed the left and right grouping of wires from your USB control box, through the holes you just drilled. Please make sure that you feed the green and purple grouped wires through the left side hole, and the blue and red grouped wires, through the right side hole. When attaching the wire crimp connectors to the buttons, please be sure to hold your other hand on the opposite side of the button. Then attach the green flagged connection to one of the connection prongs on the front position button. It does not matter which connection prong you use on the button, as either connection prong on one single button, will work just fine. Now, connect the non-flagged wire in the green grouped wires, to the other connection prong on the front button. After that, connect the purple flagged connection to the back position button. Then, connect the last non-flagged wire in the purple grouped wires, to the remaining connection prong, on the back button. Then proceed to make sure that all of your connections are securely connected, to each button's connection prong. Now, we will proceed to attach the side button box to the side of the cabinet. Find the perfect position, where you would like to attach your side button box, and hold the side button box into place. Now, attach your Phillips head bit to your drill, and using four of the black Phillips head screws in your power drill, secure the side button box to the cabinet side using the four Phillips head screws. It is very important to make sure that the side button box is completely flush, with the top edge of the cabinet, as shown. If you have custom graphics installed on the side of your cabinet, it is very important, to make sure you do not over tighten the screws. Now, on the opposite side of the cabinet, feed the blue and red grouped wires through the drilled hole. Proceed to attach the wire crimp connectors to the buttons, just like you previously did on the opposite side. Now, attach the blue flag connection to one of the connection prongs on the front position button. Again, it does not matter which connection prong you use on the button, as either connection prong on one single button, will work just fine. Now, connect the non-flagged wire and the blue grouped wires, to the other connection prong on the front button. After that, connect the red flagged connection to the back position button. Then, connect the last non-flagged wire and the red grouped wires, to the remaining connection prong, on the back button. Then proceed to make sure that all of your connections are securely connected, to each button's connection prong. Now, using four black Phillips head screws, attach your pinball side button box, exactly the same as you did on the opposite side. It is now time to plug in your USB cable. Plug the mini USB side of the cable, into the USB control box as shown. Then, plug the opposite side of the USB cable, into your third-party PC's, USB port. The pinball controls, will function as PC keyboard key commands, like your PC's typing keyboard. The extension pinball side buttons are configured by default, to the popular third-party, VPX, and pinball FX software. The left side's front button, will function as the left control key command, and the left back button, will function as the left shift key command. The right side's front button, 
will function as the right control key command, and the right back button, will function as the right shift key command. You may need to custom map your third-party software to the button configuration shown, to achieve successful pinball gameplay. Now, place your extension controller, back into place, and reattach your controller with the original 460mm bolts. Congratulations! You have now successfully installed your extension pinball side buttons and you're ready to play. Here are some helpful tips from our staff. So what that means is these first buttons are mapped to your shifts, your left and right shifts, and they are your flippers. These next buttons are mapped to your left and right control in keyboard mode, and you can assign those as either your nudge or your magna saves, or you can actually assign them to do both. I currently have this set up to where it, this is the left magna save and left nudge. So you hit it, it'll nudge and activate the magna save. Like I said, these controls are mapped. Left lever, nudge, right flipper, and nudge. And then what I've done is I've mapped this button as my plunger. And that is it. And then you can see here, your hands rest perfectly on the edge here, like a lockdown bar. And you will play some pinball. It's a standalone USB, so you will have to have an empty USB port on your computer. And um, there's no configuring. You shouldn't have to go into anywhere and, and configure the, the board itself. Uh, you may have to, depends on what you have your controls. If you've changed your controls from the default on uh, Pinball FX or on uh, VPX, then you'll have to go and, and map these controls. But that is super easy to do in, in both programs. In shape. That's it. And that's it.